Here's an example of a easy and a hard evaluating the inverse trigonometric function. Now, this isn't technically hard per se, but this is a problem where a lot of students will make mistakes. So that's why I wanted to include it on the more difficult side. Now, what we're gonna do to be able to evaluate, starting with the easier one, is understanding what exactly we're trying to find. So when I have the tangent inverse of one, what exactly does one represent? One represents the ratio of your y coordinate of your x coordinate for a point given on the unit circle. So what we simply need to do is think about what are the points on the unit circle where their ratio y over x is going to give me a positive one. And hopefully it's not gonna take you too long to think about this point right here. Square root of two over two comma square root of two over two. Now when we're finding the tangent inverse, what we're looking for is the angle that produces that ratio. So if I take the y over the x, since they're exactly the same, it's gonna give us one. The angle that produces that is going to be a pi over four. So the answer for the first example is pi over four. Now the next example gets confusing for a couple ways. One, introducing arc tangent, which is really the exact same thing, guys, is tangent inverse of negative square root of three over three. So we don't need to be confused on that part. The next part is going to be the negative because one thing we need to understand is when we're doing the inverse tangent, we have restrictions here on our domain because there's multiple angles that I would have for negative three over three as my ratio. So what we need to understand is that the tangent inverse is restricted to the first and the fourth quadrant. So now we need to think about, well, what coordinate points though are even gonna produce the square root of three over three? Well, if we start with this first point, which is square root of three over two comma one half, we can see when I take the y coordinate over the x coordinate, I'm actually going to produce square root of three over three. See, first thing, the twos are going to divide out. Then I have one over square root of three, which I can rationalize the denominator to square root of three over three. However, that's the positive version looking in the first quadrant. When we have something positive, looking in the first quadrant is easy. But when it's negative, we need to stay within this restriction. I can't go all the way around. However, I can use the negative version of this angle to understand what exactly the angle is to satisfy this condition. So this angle in the first quadrant is pi over six. So if I wanna take the negative angle, then it's simply my answer is going to be a negative pi over six. 